My name is H.J. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. Hit subscribe right now. Um, you definitely want to get the take of somebody who used to be the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet who is now a Trump supporter. I want to bring home Americans from never-ending conflict. Trump is doing that close to 10,000. I want peace between North and South Korea. These are all Trump achievements, grandiose achievements under Trump that the media doesn't care about. Hit subscribe right now. Those are just two of many reasons to vote for Trump in 2020. Um, even if you voted for Bernie. So people are like, how can you vote for Bernie? Because Trump is not a caricature of the media. President Trump, what he's doing, the achievements that he's that's t that that are that are taking place, they're not discussed by the it's it's a words or a tweet. So which which what's more important, President Obama destroying Libya, or a Trump tweet, or what's more egregious, Obama and Clinton destroying Libya through a failed NATO intervention, or a Trump tweet? Ask yourself that question. But this is interesting. House chair warns Trump against interfering with congressional oversight. This is why the House Democrats cannot um, warn Trump or issue ultimatums. Number one, Republicans in the House barely were able to, they were able to find out a whole bunch of things. The will stop Trump text, which should have led to a special counsel from Sessions. Um, the um, insurance policy text from Peter Strzok. All these Peter Strzok text messages that show that Hillary Clinton, the, there's a, there was a Clinton cover-up in terms of emails where she transferred top secret intelligence outside of the United States government, which two of my uh, super ch people on the, su on the um, live chat uh, today really helped out in terms of finding out how she transferred the top secret intelligence. But um, you you can't you you can't obstruct justice. I guess I'll, I'll try to get this, uh, explain this, articulate this in a clearer manner. You can't obstruct justice if an investigation was created to frame someone. You can't obstruct justice if, it, if it's an illegal investigation or it's an unlawful investigation. You can't obstruct justice if what you're doing is exposing a charade. So there are... One can assume that one one assumes that most investigations are conducted because a crime has taken place. With Trump, there was no crime that took place. We have no clue if the DNC was hacked. We we can only trust the only thing we have is CrowdStrike, and CrowdStrike was um, outsourced by the Democrats. CrowdStrike is the only entity. It's a third party tech firm outside of the United States government. Look at at DNC servers. Why, why should you trust that? There should be a special counsel just to discuss the origins of the Mueller probe or the origins of the FBI's Russia investigation, which is what William Barr has alluded to. William Barr has criticized the Mueller probe, the Russia investigation, and he stated there's more reason to investigate Clinton's ties to Russia or Clinton's uranium deal than there is Trump's ties to Russia, which are non-existent. But you cannot, House Chairman warns Trump against interfering with congressional oversight. This is Politico. The Democratic chairman of three powerful House committees appeared to suggest on Sunday that President Donald Trump attempted to obstruct Congress, Congress's independent oversight and investigation efforts during a weekend interview with Fox. The integrity of our process to serve as an independent check on the executive branch. They've had a check, not only a check, an extension of the Democratic Party called Mueller and the media. Only Trump could have withstood all of this. The integrity of our process to serve as an independent check on the executive branch must be respected by everyone, including the president. No. If you're investigating... No, that's not true. That's not true at all. If you're investigating just to hurt, that's a different story. People in, Clinton investigations, even though they were painted as witch hunts, were based on evidence of crimes. We know this because James Comey said, well, she committed crimes, but they were unintentional. She transferred top secret intelligence. She transferred special access program intelligence, but she didn't mean to do it. So we'll give her a break. That is, that's the issue here. 
You're talking about a flawed concept of intent. Ah, well, you know, she didn't mean to do it. She just didn't mean to do it. Okay, so the crime was committed. She didn't mean to do it. And then there was a complete cover-up in terms of... They didn't even ask how she transferred the information, which, I, like I said, two of two people in my live chat today explained a great deal of how she was able to do it. Okay. Um, there is a record. Let's, let's just put it that way. There's a record of how she transferred the top-secret intel. It's not a, a mystery. People in government know that she transferred this information in an illegal manner. But let's continue. The integrity of our process. So uh, our nation's laws prohibit efforts to discourage, intimidate, or otherwise pressure a witness not to provide testimony to Congress. Calling in uh, to Fox News for an interview Saturday evening, Trump criticized former president, personal attorney, and longtime fixer, longtime fixer, Michael Cohen, who is scheduled to testify uh, publicly to the House Oversight Committee on, on February 7th. So he's going to testify on something that's not even a crime. And Trump is not um, threatening Cohen or anything like that. He's giving his opinion, and he's allowed to do that. But Michael Cohen, for example, <laughs> was suing BuzzFeed because he was implicated in the Steele dossier. That's complete nonsense. That was, by the way, purchased by Hillary Clinton. That was published by BuzzFeed. And the only reason they won or they won one of their defamation lawsuits is because the judge said, well, there was an ongoing investigation. Yeah. The investigation was an illegal, was, it was an unethical, illegal, and criminal cover-up of crimes that Clinton committed and a complete fabrication meant to create an investigation that would be never ending. Because once the government says, okay, well, here's here's state power. Here's the representation of state power in this grandiose FBI investigation. Apparently, it doesn't matter that James Comey was eventually fired, that Peter Strzok was fired for his anti-Trump texts, that Andrew McCabe lied three times under oath under oath and has a grand jury investigating him right now the top three three of the top well fbi well james comey and mccabe were one and two and strock was like you know what within the top five fbi officials and james baker the legal counsel comey's legal counsel said that yeah he thought that clinton should be indicted he testified that but they started an investigation knowing that it would be impossible to end or very difficult to end, especially with Sessions recusing himself. So what they did was genius. They started an investigation. They knew Trump was, was, was the president now. They had his attorney general fear for his legal future or his political future by saying, oh, you spoke to Sergey Kislyak, and then you lied about it. Oh, and there's going to be an investigation. Andrew McCabe uh, started an investigation on, on, uh, on Jeff Sessions. So Sessions said, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll recuse myself, I'll recuse myself, which is exactly what Democrats wanted. They basically controlled the DOJ for two years because Rosenstein, when he was appointed, said, oh, yeah, you know what? They were even talking about a special counsel before Rosenstein's appointment. So then Comey just leaks memos, which is against the law, to leak classified. Four of the seven were classified. Chuck Grassley had to uh, view them in a skiff. And... Without any, without any thought for the future or precedent, they start a special counsel based on Comey's recollection, which could have been lies. No evidence. Steel dossier purchased by Hillary Clinton. Crowd strike outsourced by Hillary Clinton and the Democrats. Comey's memos complete and here's uh, just hearsay from Comey, who's a liar to begin with. He lied under oath regarding exonerating Clinton. Only after the seventeen interviews, which was a lie. He he didn't he he wrote the exoneration letter before seventeen key 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 interviews, and Peter Strzok deleted five references to gross negligence in Comey's exoneration speech, which would have led directly to the uh, to in, Clinton getting indicted in U.S. Code seven ninety three F. So they want to obstruct. They want to get Trump. They want to impeach Trump on obstruction of justice. Why? Because they were able to start an illegal investigation 
And Trump is calling it out. And they're saying, how dare you expose our cover-up and our unethical and unlawful investigation? The fact that you are trying to expose that we framed you is an example of obstruction of justice. So that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. And it's this, just this endless, 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 ridiculous uh, charade and then you have establishment Republicans, like I explained today in my live chat. You have establishment Republicans who are like uh, Lindsey Graham and and um, and uh, Trey Gowdy, who straddle the fence, and they say, "Well, I mean, gee whiz, golly gee, golly gee whiz, oh golly gee, we respect the government, and we would never think that the FBI would frame Trump, but golly gee whiz." Oh, goodness, it just seems that they just bought the Steele dossier and, or, or that Clinton purchased the Steele dossier for the specific pur purpose of starting an investigation. Could that be true? Golly gee, there's no evidence, but we have to let Mueller finish his investigation. The deference, the reverence to state power is nauseating, especially when they know there's nothing there. But their their prestige, the, the, their 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 posts, their government posts, their raison d'être, their reason to exist, mm -hmm. is bolstered by this investigation. It's state power being legitimized by people who ev who, who who are skeptics, who know that there's no evidence of Trump Russia. But they also know that if they, if they called out James Comey or Strzok or McCabe or Clinton in, in, in a grandiose manner, if they, said, if they stated, hey, this is an entire cover-up of the Clinton email probe, and this is a, they're set, they set up Trump, if they told the truth, they know that they could possibly experience what an honorable man, General Michael Flynn, experienced. Michael Flynn is an honorable man. He he called out Hillary Clinton with Jake Tapper. He was one of the few people in the American intelligence community. He was Obama's defense intelligence chief who called out Hillary Clinton and said, "Look, what you did, what she did was completely just a, a travesty." And she harmed the national security. Now Michael Hayden tried to also say he he, he said that, but he he said, "Well, I'm still voting for Clinton." All of these intel people even though she, it was the biggest cybersecurity debacle of all time, she made a complete mockery of the intelligence community. All of these intelligence chiefs were either in on it, like Clapper and, Co and Brennan, John O'Brennan, or they were just, um, you know, oh, well, you know, she messed up, but it wasn't that big of a deal type thing. Michael Flynn actually stated, yeah, she harmed national security, she had a server with top secret and classified data outside the United States government that could have easily been hacked and it was almost certainly hacked by the whole planet. You're talking about Aldrich Ames and Robert Hansen times a thousand. And if you don't know who they are and you pretend to care about the intelligence community and you're a Democrat, well, that says all you need to know. Gosh, why does it continue? So... All of this is one giant charade. Democrats are holding their cards and everyone knows they're bluffing. They began an investigation simply because they knew once the behemoth, once the monstrosity, once the gigantic boulder was, was, was pushed down a hill, the inertia, the momentum would be too difficult to stop. And now Democrats know very well, there's no Trump-Russia collusion. They know very well that all the evidence points back to Hillary Clinton, payment from Democrats. CrowdStrike was outsourced by Democrats. The Steele dossier was, was outsourced by Democrats. Peter Strzok literally stated, we'll stop Trump. You had corrupt FBI agents. You had quote-unquote evidence that was purchased by Hillary Clinton. They fabricated and financed the Trump-Russia myth. And they covered up Clinton's email crimes. And what's going to be done about it? Nothing. Well, 
what has been done thus far? Nothing. Because you had Sessions, Rosenstein, and people you shouldn't have trusted. William Barr is on deck. William Barr, hopefully, the writing's on the wall regarding Clinton eventually getting indicted. She'll eventually get indicted. Because there are too many people. Think of it this way. People say, oh, Clinton's so powerful. Yeah, but there are powerful people as well that Clinton tried to destroy and undermine. There is a struggle, a battle going on behind the scenes, and it's not some cosmic or, you know, this isn't fantasy. There are obviously two factions of government. Trump is trying to wrestle control away from a very corrupt Bush-Obama-Clinton faction. All of the people who upheld that paradigm, James Comey, Peter Strzok, uh, Andrew McCabe, Lisa Page, John Brennan, James Clapper, Susan Rice, Sally Moyer, all of them are, yeah, uh, Sally Yates, they're all gone. They're not in government anymore. So it's very difficult, it's very difficult for Clinton to hold on to this apparatus that was protecting her for too long. So that's why I say, look, eventually you're going to have Clinton getting indicted. Because I've been saying that she was going to be indicted since 2016. I've been talking about the email uh, crimes and the Clinton Foundation crimes since 2015. Eventually it'll take place. But they have to find out exactly how she transferred top secret intelligence. They have to look at, investigate the uranium sale again. Because that was, you have William D. Campbell, an FBI informant, saying... Hey, listen, the FBI paid me to inform them. that the And, and he's saying the, the Russian lobbyists were bragging about their control over the Clinton Foundation and Obama's administration. William Barr has to either start a special counsel or indict based on evidence, public record evidence and evidence and classified data they already have regarding Clinton's criminal uh, conduct. It's not, this is all public record. Also, in term, Rudy Giuliani stated there's the RICO laws and bribery law statutes already p- pertain to the Clinton Foundation, which the Clinton Foundation pay to play, whether it's Haiti or weapons deals, Uranium One, all of these things, Boeing, UBS, $185, $185 million given by, $156 million, sorry, given by 85 donors. Where's the money flow to Trump? We have a money flow to the Clintons through the Clinton Foundation and then beneficial treatment. It's an obvious pay-to-play racket. It's obvious. But hit subscribe right now. William Barr, hopefully, will turn the tables. But you can't obstruct justice, whether it's firing Comey, who should have been fired, or, you know, calling out Democrats in the House or Democratic investigations. You can't obstruct justice if all of this is nonsense. If it was, if an investigation was started simply to frame someone, it's not obstruction of justice. You're actually exposing a criminal conspiracy in the development of an unethical, unlawful investigation. And Trump didn't break any campaign finance laws. I wrote an article in the Daily Caller that Clinton should be indicted under campaign uh, for breaking campaign finance laws. Her, her criminal activity is like millions and millions of dollars funneled through her law firm. It's like endless. But that, look, at the end of the day, you have pretty much everybody knowing that there is no evidence of Trump Russia. This is simply a political tool to harm Trump. That needs to end very soon. I believe it will. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. Thank you so very much.